Here in Senegal, a country in West Africa, these women are gathering produce from their own garden. But only a few years ago, they struggled to grow anything at all because of soil degradation and lack of water due to climate change. <laughs> Solar energy is used to pump water from the wells, ensuring that the 65 women in this cooperative have a steady supply for irrigation. This is all part of a $30 million investment by the Global Environment Facility and the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development. Improvements to irrigation systems and water management are underway, and new farming practices have a positive impact on the communities. Avec l'utilisation donc des bonnes pratiques et des techniques aussi adaptées au changement climatique, le projet donc est parvenu à améliorer donc la fertilité des sols, qui a permis aux ménages et aux communautés d'améliorer quand même en matière de santé, en matière aussi d'alimentation. One technique is to diversify production to cope with a change in climate. This provides a more varied diet with less chances of hunger if one crop fails. And with an abundant supply of water, these women are starting a new business. Fish farming, a good source of protein and extra income for their families. To make the most of their yields, these women have also learned how to process their own food. Awa says they can earn more and at the same time reduce waste. <laughs> With this extra money, farmers can buy livestock and other food supplies. Awa, who was widowed five years ago, can now look after the 21 members of her extended family, including eight children and eight grandchildren. In a nearby village, more suitable crops are helping other farmers like Aja Dao make the most of their limited resources. Here, they can now grow a fast-maturing rice variety that can thrive with less rain. The techniques and the practice, the good practice, agricole, nous ont sauvé dans ce sens. Maintenant, au lieu de cultiver beaucoup d'hectares, on peut cultiver un peu. Awa and Aja are among the more than 32,000 families who have improved their nutrition, health, and incomes through these changes. And more importantly, they are now better equipped to face an uncertain future and to cope with the challenges of a changing climate.